stuff over there. Like this. Slide that. Was if my car was a person, it'd be. He dies. What's your five? Right on What's up, dude? What's up, man? Look taller in person. This is Santa Maria coming to join us. Running fashionably late today. Yeah, it's time. Two. How's it going? Hold on, please. What do you want, bud? Uh, between the biscuit platter and the pancake platter. Hey. You going platter style? I'm going platter style right now, Dad. All right. Um, you should go for biscuit platter. Biscuits are good here. Where's the biscuit platter at? I said breakfast. Oh. All right, get a breakfast platter with orange juice. All right, can I get the uh, number 24 with an orange juice, please? I'm feeling big this morning. I think I'm going to do the breakfast burger. Is it Yes, please, with uh, orange juice. Thanks. What did she say? I just started driving away. I didn't hear what she said. Why do you look so dark in the camera? What is going on? Look at us. You can't even see me. There we go. What's up, guys? My name is Mark Santamario. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a race vlog. We're racing this weekend. Uh, that intro that you saw, we actually shot yesterday. We, uh, yeah, we got, we got to the truck super late. We got to the track in middle of Q1, first qualifier. We didn't practice Friday or Saturday. Uh, long story short is I couldn't practice Friday because I was so busy at work. And then Friday night, I decided to go just kind of let loose and uh, relax. And instead of go to the track and get ready, I uh, went and hung out with some buddies. So end up missing for the first half of Q1. What is going on with our freaking head? There you go. That's better. Still kind of moving, but that's better. Look at the thing. It's like... Oh, no, it is. Is it? Yeah. You got to use your old noggin whenever things like this happen. Look at that. That's like a professional camera mount right there. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I have some bad, bad news. Um, and then I have some just bad news. Basically, I just got a bunch of bad news. Uh, first off, we lost Evan. He doesn't like racing. Um, so much so that he's not going to be at Psycho Nitro Blast this year. He wants to stay home and uh, he doesn't want to miss his district track meet and he doesn't want to miss school. Tell him, man. What? Tell him what? You just told him. Tell, tell, go ahead. They want to hear it from you, not from me. Anyways, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and blame the missing practice day on Evan because he didn't <laughs> want to go practice and I was like, Ugh. and Evan's kind of my motivation to go race. So that's the first bad news. The second bad news is we are running Nitro Truck this weekend for the first time and I completely underestimated how different it is from E electric stuff. Throttle, cur throttle curve is extremely different and even before going into this weekend, uh, my buddy Wade, he was like, look dude, the hardest transition ever is Nitro Truck and E-Buggy and that was what I was running this weekend and I will agree that it's just, it's just different and my uh, my truck has never run at Indy so I'm fighting, fighting set up so no, I did not do that great in Nitro, and as a result, I'm, I'm just going to say it, it's going to hurt. I kind of don't like Nitro racing. <laughs> I kind of don't ever want to do it again. Tell him our plan if I flame out twice in the... Uh... Okay, so basically I told Evan if I flame out once in the main, to get it like his life depends on it. If I flame out two times, what do we do? Just burn the car. Like... No car, no more problems. I told them that we need a fake a fake a runaway. I'll uh -oh. I'll full pin it when I flip over. Evan acts like he doesn't know what's happening. Throws my my pit stuff away <laughs> in the garbage. 
and then starts making fun of the car that's flipped over and hopefully if all goes well it explodes and catches on fire that's our plan anyways we're gonna eat some breakfast head up to the track I'll show you guys the track this is the 2022 icebreaker at Indy RC World it's a great race good some good drivers here Jared Wiggins Jared Tebow uh, Graham Hill this is Jared's pit guy uh, Dylan Caldwell a lot of good uh, a lot of good racers at this race we're having a good time um, but yeah we kind of slacked in the practicing on the in the practicing department what's the rules spill I lose health I spill my health very good you spill your food I spill your health health bar the breakfast burger what does that remind you of does anyone watch a Hodge Twins? I watch a Hodge Twins. This is dedicated to the Hodge Twins. All right, guys, we're here. So I've actually already ran, I've already run, already run my mains, at least most of them. I only have one main left and four wheel short course. Uh, I did a main that one, so I'm the very, very last race. But Evan ended up bumping out of the B, which is really, really cool. Uh, and Nitro Truggy, this is my first race back in Nitro Truggy. It, it felt good. And most importantly, we finished, no problems. Our results weren't as great, but Evan was in the pits for me. It was freaking awesome. So that was the first time we did like, oh look, Ethan's back there. The first time we did like a, a father-son pitting racing tandem, which is great. I'm not gonna lie, I'd rather him be racing and me be pitting, but it was still fun. So I'm gonna show you guys around and then I gotta show you some other stuff because I got some surprises for you. So here we are at the 2022 icebreaker race at Indy RC World. So they do all like the pitting, the outdoor pitting outside here. And then if you were able to book early in the RC world, book early or reserve your spot inside early, you got a spot inside. So we got a spot inside, but there are trailers out here hey, you're outside. Out What's up, man? Um, but yeah, good times. Well, look at this, guys. Well, one of the racers, or he used to race. He's coming back in the, uh, in the racing game, but he just pulls up and his 720S, my God. I was telling everybody, like, I, I almost got one of these, but I ended up getting my Tundra instead. Oh, so clean. If I got a McLaren, I would definitely get a 720. Jeez. Hi, right, going inside. Pitting as far as the eye can see. Mr. Jared Tebow right there. Mr. Jared Wiggins right there, which reminds me, Jared, let me borrow a sway bar and he take it off my truck. Which people ask me all the time, what what car you should run, and I always say the same thing. I say, oh god, I always say the same thing. I say, run what everyone in your area runs, and that's why. Like I didn't have the sway bar I needed, and uh, Jared Wiggins was there to help me out. So that's why you want to run what people in your local area run. Here's the track. See if I get a better shot without getting in people's way. Hold on, let me let me squeeze on through here. All right. I know John, so he won't care that I'm recording up here. But here's the track. It's actually a lot of fun. It makes really tight racing. There's spots where you can make up time, take some risks. Yes, that's the bottom of the, the track, like the, the cement under the track. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. So the hard parts on the track are this corner right there, that, that far corner. And you'll see why. See how it kind of kicked those trucks up sideways? So I kind of slapped the face of that jump and then rolled down into here. Uh, that jump over, uh oh, this race is happening. That jump right there is getting a little blown out, so the car kind of flies sideways. But other than that, man, super fun track. Oh, he, he flipped over right before, flipped over right before the line without a wing. Oh, geez. It's a busy time, transition between races. Mikey B right there. Mikey B. MSM team driver, he just got done winning that race and he truggy. And yes, he is running my ESC that I let him borrow still. Which is Spectrum ESC, pretty solid. All right, we're gonna walk over here, kind of show you guys over here real quick. So they warm up all the cars on the outside over there. All the racers line up on that side and they release all the cars. So we'll, we'll let you uh, swing you guys by all the nitro cars so you can guys hear what's going on, see what's going on. Congrats, man. I think this is Sportsman. Oh, look, it's Chase McCullough's car. Chase, this one, look. We got the MSM sticker right there. 
So this is A main, Sportsman A main, Nitro Buggy. So they're about to release them. We'll get the release so you guys can see this. Pretty fun. Alright, so we walked in right there. We went up the stand, we went down the stand, and then we walked over here, and then we just walked by all these guys. We'll get a shot of these guys rolling out. That way you guys can get a little bit of nitro action. I know some of you guys really like to hear and see the nitros, which they're fun. Just got done talking to Dean. So he's out here, he's the only one out here. He's tuning his engine because he had some flame outs in his main. This is why nitro can be a pain in the butt because when you start having these ghost flame outs, it will truly ruin your week. You'll think about it until you're sick. So he's out here tuning in the car after his race is done, trying to figure out what went wrong. What, what went wrong. All right, let's go in here. This is the other side. The front of the building is over there. I need to take the sway bar off my truck because I told Wiggins that I was going to give it back to him. So, all right, moving on. Oh, who's this guy sitting in my spot? All right, so I got to get this sway bar off uh, for Jared Wiggins since he let me borrow it. So big shout out to Jared Wiggins for letting me borrow the sway bar. Uh, on a track like this, when it gets a lot of traction, if your car is set up for a really lonely track, a lot of times your car will roll a lot. So I ended up going way up on the sway bar. So far up that I didn't have the sway bar I needed. So he hooked it up. I told him I'd give it back to him as soon as I was done with it. So I got to take it off real quick. And then after I take it off, I got to show you something. Someone gave me something. And uh, it's, the, it's freaking amazing. I got an amazing gift here at an RC race. Super stoked to show you guys, but first things first, I got to return what I borrowed. Hand me my one five. Tim, you win? It still did really well. Sorry guys, I watched playback. I got freaking the the fuel bottle in the way. TNR fuel, by the way, that's what I'm running. Big shout out to Chris Nelson. Chase. <laughs> Chase just got done bumping into the B, into the A from the B, and he ended up getting fifth overall. So he got podium and nitro bike. Congrats to Chase. Awesome, freaking awesome. And now you got you got one more, right? And he's got one more in trucking. So we'll wish him luck. Got the sway bar off this thing. We're gonna run this over to Wiggins, and then I'll show you some cool, cool stuff. The cool gift I got from a very, very nice supporter. Also a, a friend. He was a friend before a supporter, which is good because friends should support. Anyways, let me give this back to Jared real quick. Here you go, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, before I show you my gift, Doug, my Tamiya consultant, sitting right here, right? He always brings really, really cool Tamiya's, not to run here at race days, but just to kind of show off so when people walk by, it catches their attention. It's really cool because what you'll see are some of the old school people who are walking through here with their kids and then they recognize this car like oh yeah that's what we used to run and that happens all the time so big shout out to Doug for doing this but here's his Tamiya Frog I need to finish building mine they actually have one inside but what I like about the frog is it has more metal on it oh god it looks so clean he does a really good job of making sure his are like box perfect I forgot I forgot what they there's an actual saying for it but essentially he'll actually go out of the way and go grab the stickers that were for the original car. So his are very, very, very meticulously built. Oh, looks so good. Okay, so let me show you. It was him who gave me something. He gave me something really, really cool, and I'm excited to show you, so let me show you. All right, so here it is. So he walks in this morning, he's like, dude, I brought you something. I was like, all right, cool. Thought it was like a breakfast sandwich or something, but look at this, guys. He gave me the Wild Willy body. This is the Wild Willy 2 body. But look at this thing. Look how awesome it is. I'm not going to take it out of the box because I don't want, I mean the bag, because I don't want to get it all dirty because it's dusty in here. But the reason why I'm so excited is now I don't have to build my Wild Willy body, which is the thing that really deters me from building some kits, trying to figure out how long it's going to take to build a Tamiya body. Because on Tamiya kits, the body is what takes most of the time. But since I have this one now, I can just go build a Wild Willy and put this body on it. Oh, and look at it. It's, I mean, it's done up really nice. I mean, obviously, it's the one that actually came in it. Wild Willy, Wild Willy 2. Oh, man. Thank you so much, Doug. That was so cool. 
So the next Tamiya build, on the next Tamiya Tuesday, I'm going to start building my Wild Willie too. Oh, freaking awesome. All right, he gave me more. There's more in here. All right, so whenever I built the Wild one, I'm going to sit down because I'm a little tired. Whenever I built the Wild one, I had a complaint that the Hobbywing ESCs, those switches don't mount the way they, sh they like the way they should mount. Like ES the Tamiya ESCs, and the way Tamiya integrates the switches and electronics is very clean and it mounts, there's actually spots to mount it. He gave me Tamiya ESC. I think he gave me more than one Tamiya ESC. He gave me three, three Tamiya ESCs. That way if I get one with a hobby wing, I can always just use this one if I like this one better. So, dude, freaking Doug, he's freaking awesome. He's racing right now, he's about to run his truggy race, but oh man. What an awesome gift. I'm so excited. All right, of course, we gotta do a quick shop tour before we end this vlog. Yes, they have a grasshopper. They do have another frog. I do need another frog. And they have the hornet. Built the grasshopper, haven't built the frog and the hornet. Let's see what else they got. They got the little mini dragsters, those are cool. And they got a Sentin and a Typhon. Dang, look at this. I haven't seen an RB engine in forever. I guess they still make them. They're actually pretty cheap. RB, CRF, haven't seen any of those in forever. And those look new. I don't think those are old ones. It's pretty sweet. All right, guys. That is a wrap. not a wrap on the race because me and Evan both have a race left. 25 down. 15, 35 left to go. Closest battle on the track right now is Tejada and Vanderpool for the eight. The that's the closest quarter. battle. Anyways, yes, that's a wrap for this vlog. I can't believe Doug gave me that stuff. I'm so stoked about it. And it really sucks. Actually, I think, I think since the start of this video, I think Evan's already kind of turning back around and wanting to race more. Let's ask him. Evan, you still like racing? No. Yeah, I do. Be honest, are you gonna race again? Yes. Are you gonna pit for me again? No. Whatever, our pitting was fun. You had kidding. a good time pitting. I'm just kidding, Dad. It's a joke. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys. Ooh.